Well, g'day everyone and welcome back to the shop. Today is part three and it's the final video of the Doug Gray parallel clamp kit that he sent me over. And today I'll be machining, finishing the machining on the screw threaded rods uh, to receive the brass plate which locks them into place. I'm just using my collet block holder here and just squaring off that shoulder. So I just needed to square the shoulder off so it's sat flush down on top of the bar. Now once I've got that square shoulder, I'll move up. I think it's one sixteenth of an inch. So just over you know, 1.6 mil, something like that. And you'll see I'll just plunge cut here with my parting off tool. I'm just using it as a grooving tool. And I'm shooting for, Doug states 3 eighth of an inch. I'm shooting for 9.5 mil. And I think I'm close to size there maybe 9.45 something like that this is the little brass strip that Doug gives you so I'm popping in here with a half inch high speed steel Sutton uh, slotting end mill and just taking a lick on the left and right hand side just to get that, those corners flush and at 90 degrees I've now set the plate up in the middle of the vise where I've got maximum clamping pressure and just using my wobbler, I'm going to find the centre by dropping in on the fixed and sliding jaw and then splitting the difference in the DRO and touching off on the left hand side and of course moving in half the size of the stylus there which is 2mm. So moving up a quarter of an inch, I'm going to drill this 4mm hole. I didn't worry about spot drilling it, I probably should have done but it, it was fine. I spot drilled the bigger hole because I want to make sure I, I didn't wander. And I'm popping in here with a 9.5mm high speed steel drill. And of course just repeated the process on the right hand side. Now Doug's instructions are quite clear, they're quite intuitive and they suggest that you use a fixture plate to bolt this down once you have those two holes. So I'm just using a bit of discarded aluminium that I had popping in there, drilling and tapping. You can see here, just turning the machine off, letting the quill fit, pull itself in, and then undoing the chuck. And these are four mil uh, tapped holes. Once again, just, I knew I was right in the x-axis, but I just wanted to drop over again and pick up um, in the x. And that way then, so I'm, I'm perfectly up the center, and then pop into the left-hand side to pick up those two points. Now I'm just plunge cutting with that half inch slot drill and enlarging that hole to half an inch. But I'm not going all the way down, I'm going half the thickness of the brass plate. Now I was just taking it easy here because I didn't want to rip it off the table and popping over to the other side to do the other plunge cut as well. And once again I think this is uh, 1 16th of an inch from memory. Uh, you can see I've got a good effect happening there with the camera. It's uh, picking up the shutter speed and you've got a bit of swarf flying around. And off it goes into the tray. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just slot cutting forward and back in the Y axis. And on depth of cut here is 0.25 of a millimetre. So a quarter of a millimetre. And I just didn't want to go too savage on this. I'm running the risk of that half inch slot mill breaking it and ripping it off. So I'm just really taking my time. Now when I had about 0.1 of a mil or a little bit more left to go, I was watching the digital readout, I simply just undid it now. So I took out those two cap head bolts and you can see it's very flimsy and I just snapped it with my finger and broke that last little piece off. Now I had to give them a little tickle with a file uh, so now I wanted to put the cherry on top with Doug's clamps and I wanted to surface grind them. So I won't show you the whole thing, I'll just skip through this. So I'll get a top side grind. Then I did a left hand side grind. To do the other side here in a minute, you'll see I'll turn it up and do the bottom side. Here we are on the bottom side now. And I'm just taking a lick. I wasn't being too savage with it. 
I did coat the steel with some WD-40 before I did my surface grinding because I'm not running coolant or air blast on this at the moment. And last but not least is the opposite side, so the right hand side now, so all four sides have been done. And I'll assemble these off camera in a minute and zoom in to show you. And I was quite happy with the build. It turned out really well. Uh, Doug's kits are fantastic. They're very well documented. I suggest you run out and buy, buy a set. They're really good. Just going to leave you with a couple of photos from the shop. So the lathe, the mill, my surface grinder, which is a tool and cutter grinder that I'm surface grinding. And uh, thanks again. Thanks for joining in on Aaron Engineering. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.